The first thing I'm going to do here is enable remote desktop or remote access. So we'll type in remote and we'll say remote desktop settings. So it says enable remote desktop. Remote desktop allows you to control this PC from a remote device by using remote desktop client. So we'll turn this on. Yes, I do want to do that. And let's see what's under the advanced settings. I'll leave that all the way that it is. Now that we have this on, we should be able to remote into it so that we don't have to use the console anymore. In order to remote into it, we'll first have to get the IP address, which this one ends in .226. So we'll fire this up and we'll put in the six here. We'll change it to more, more options. And then we'll put in the username and password that we had configured earlier. And as you can see, now I'm RDP'd into this server. I don't need to do the, um, I don't need to do the VMware remote console anymore. And, you know, moving forward, this is going to make things a whole lot easier. In order to license the server, we can go here to settings, or actually we can even put in here, we'll do uh, product key. And it says change product key. I don't have one. And so we'll just click this here. Hopefully it will let me copy and paste. All right, let's see if it takes it. And we clicked on activate. Now it says Windows is activated. So we have our product key in there and everything is good. I'll close that. You can see that the VMware tools is not installed still and it also doesn't say that it's mounted. So I have to go back and do that again. It's, pro it, it's probably due to me um, rebooting the system or something like that. Let's go into the RDP again. And we'll go to the uh, Windows Explorer, this PC, and here we see VMware tools. So we'll double click on that. And now we get this installation wizard. And I'm just going to do the typical installation and we'll say install. I'll pause the recording while this goes through. And now we see that it's finished and that we must restart the configuration. It asks if I want to restart now and I do, so I'll click yes. I'll pause the recording again while we wait for the restart to go through. The server is now done restarting and you can see that uh, we no longer get the message about VMware tools not being installed. If we hop in here, we want to go and check to do check for a uh, Windows update to make sure that we have whatever fixes have been released. I'll click on check for updates. We'll do that again. And then I'll pause the recording while this goes and does its thing. Um, it says updates are available and it's going through and downloading the updates for me. I'll wait for that to be done and we'll install those in a moment. The updates now complete and it's pending a restart. I'll go ahead and do that and I'll pause the recording again. The reboot's done. I RDP'd back into the server and I went back to the check for updates screen. And as you can see here, it says that I am up to date. We'll close that and we'll go and set the uh, password complexity to something a little more simplistic and we can change the password. So after we've gone into start and administrative tools, we'll go to local security policy. Then we'll go into account policies, password policy, and I'll turn this down to zero. Then I'll do disabled on that. That's fine, we'll leave that as disabled. Zero passwords remembered. Maximum password life is zero. So all of that's good. So now I'll try to change the password by going to uh, Windows and then I'll click on my account here and we'll do change account settings. And we'll do sign in options. We'll scroll down a little bit to where it says password and we have change. So I'll have to put in my current password and I'll click next and I'll put in my new password and I have to re-enter it. 
<laughs> and they won't let you put the same password. So I'll just say um, Cisco with a capital C. Hopefully I'll remember it. So now this is is done. Let's lock the account and see if we can log in with our password. We can. Now that makes things easier. The way the reason I do that in a lab environment is because I don't want to put in a complex password all the time. I want to just be able to launch my my um, device like RDP or terminal or whatever devices I'm logging into, and I just want to put in something really simple and easy. That way I can just get into doing the labbing that I want to do. Now what I'll start doing is adding roles and features. So I'll go to start and then I'll do server manager. We'll let server manager load up. As you can see, there's a bar loading up here. So if I try to click on add roles and features, it lets me know that the wizard will be available after data collection finishes. So we, we basically just have to wait for that to be done. And then afterwards we can click on add roles and features. Now that it's done, we can click on add roles and features. You can skip this page by default. I'm going to choose to leave it. I, I will also be doing role based or feature based installation. This is the only server that I have. So I'll click next. And what I'll be doing is the active directory domain services. So we'll say yes there and we'll click next, click next again, click next. Restart the destination service automatically if required. I will do that. And then we'll do install. And now this will take a little bit of time. So I'll pause the recording while we wait on it. Now we can see that the configuration um, is required and the installation is complete. So I'll promote this server to a domain controller and I'll say add new forest. For the root, for the root domain, I had went out and bought my own domain. So I'm going to put that in here, pcanane.com. And now I'm going to put in a password here, which will be the same that I used before. Then we'll click next after the password's in there. And it says a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found. Let's see what this is talking about. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to skip this anyway. And the net BIOS name should come up as whatever is before your .com or .net or .lab if you chose it, whatever it's going to be. So for me, it will say pcanane here once this is done, as you can see. And then we'll hit next and I'll pause the recording. Now we'll click next again. This is just review your selections if you want to. Click next and it says prerequisites need to be validated before the Active Directory domain services is installed on this computer. Now you can see all prerequisite checks passed successfully. Click install to begin the installation. There is a whole list of, of uh, sort of like notices that will also pop up here as well. Feel free to read those if it is something of interest to you. And I'm just going to pause the recording while we wait for this to go through. Now it lets me know that I'm going to be signed out because of the Active Directory domain services was installed. That's fine by me. So we'll just pause the recording again and wait for the server to come back online. Now after the reboot, you can see that everything is good here. And if I go to this part and, and type in this PC, I can check on the properties. We can see that the domain is pcanane.lab. And we also see that the computer name here, I'll see if I can change that. Let's see, computer description, computer name, to rename this computer or its domain group. Domain controllers cannot be moved from one domain to another. Okay, so I'm going to name this um, win 2019, and that will be .pcanane.lab. And now we'll restart the computer. Changes will take effect after you restart the computer. We'll say close and I'll close all of this. Restart now. I think I'll go ahead and add, end this video here, but there will be more videos talking about configurations that we are going to do on the Windows server. I just want to try to keep these short so that people don't have to watch, you know, a whole hour long video about configuring a Windows server. I'd rather it be short videos that people can watch get a little bit done, maybe they have to, to stop and go do something else. It, and this will allow them to have a stopping point and a, and a starting point for when they're ready. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.